Hey everyone, so I haven't made a video in a while. Hey, thumbs up. Let's see if you got that. Yeah, thumbs up. I haven't made a video in a while, and I figured I'd start making some videos since I'm quarantined in the house. I'm not sick or anything, but it's just a self quarantine, a voluntary quarantine, because I, I don't want to get sick. I'm in my 60s. Uh, my job has allowed me to work from home. So I figured I'd make a few more of these videos. All right, let me get right to it. This video is on accepting updates from Nordic Track. What happens as soon as you power it up, you'll probably see something like this. It'll say update available. Would you like to start the update for your machine? So let's go ahead and say start. And let's see what it does. Yep, that's me. Bad hair day. It says preparing to update. Let me pull out a little bit so that I, you can see the whole screen. I've learned to try to keep this camera as steady as possible while this is doing this. As you can see, it says apps downloading. And I guess it's going to download a 107.9 megabyte file. Is it megabit or mega, megabyte? Um, I think it's mega, megabyte. A byte is bigger than a bit. I think while this is downloading, if I remember, eight bits equal a byte. Uh, a thousand bytes is a megabyte. No, a thousand. I'm now. I'm not sure. A thousand bytes is a kilobyte. A thousand kilobytes is a megabyte. A thousand megabytes is a gigabyte, and a thousand gigabytes is a terabyte. Yeah. All right, this is almost done. And you'll see on the left part of the screen it says updates. It doesn't really give you much. It's just a blank screen that says updating. I'll be back as soon as it's, uh, I'm gonna pause it for now and come back as soon as it's finished downloading. Okay, we're back. <clears throat> Looks like it's downloaded the entire file. Now I guess it will reboot the machine. And we'll, I'll tell you what, I'll pause it. Oh, there it is, it's applying the updates. I'll come back as soon as it reboots. Okay, so that took about, that took about, it was less than a minute. All right, it says, yay, you've successfully updated your firmware. Hit the okay button. And it looks like it's rebooting the system. Again, bad hair day. It's rebooting it. And now because I've actually enabled privileged mode, this might go back straight into the privileged mode Android desktop screen. And you'll see what that is. All right, I fit. You get the I fit and here we go. All right, so it actually went straight back into here. So let me go ahead and log my wife out and I'll log myself in. Uh, let's see, other accounts. I don't want to put the names up here for privacy. Okay, so I'm logged, I'm logged in now. My name is Nelson, and here we go. All right, so not only is that how you do a, an update, I'm gonna throw in a special bonus. So you can see what software you're running. If you come here, to uh, the three lines, and you go to settings, and on settings, I believe it's equipment info. Let's try that. It says app info, machine info, and unit of measurement. So let's go to app info, and there it is. There's the app that I'm running. I'm running app version 2.6.19.1154. And then there's some other stuff there. Let's go to the release notes and see what this new release just did. According to this, it, it uh, updated and uh, it fixed multiple bugs and performance improvements. Oh, okay, that's cool. 
All right then. So let's get out of release notes. Let's get out of app info. Let's get out of equipment info. <clears throat> let's go into equipment settings. Oh, that's not what I want. Sorry guys. I believe it's maintenance. So let's go into maintenance. Right. So if you've been following my videos, I believe that Actually, you know what? Let's go back to the home screen. I don't think you even have to be in maintenance. All right. Now you noticed this went to a different screen, something you probably haven't seen in a while. That's a black hole. Let's go back to the iFit Cardio, and I'm going to show you how you can actually access the privileged mode on here or the Android desktop. So give it a few seconds. I'm going to pause it and I'll be right back as soon as the iFit software comes up. Okay, I'm back. This is the screen that you guys are normally used to seeing. Oh, someone's calling me. Hold on one second. My apologies. Okay, I'm back. So what I'm going to do now, this as a bonus, I'm going to show you how to access or basically how to hack your Nordic Track, your, either your X22i, I think that's what, yep, I have an X22i, but you can do this on I believe any of the Nordic Track treadmills, incline trainers that are using an Android platform. So you don't want to hit on any of these because if you hit on those, uh, what you'll do is you'll actually go to there or here. So rather, you see how you can hit here and nothing happens, right? You can hit on here as well and nothing happens. You can hit up on iFit and nothing happens. Obviously, you don't want to hit manual start but on any of these areas if you can just hit it and nothing happens then that's pretty cool see right so here's the trick to get into the admin mode or into privileged mode what you have to do is you have to tap the screen 10 times wait 7 to 10 seconds and then tap the screen 10 times more and it'll come up with a little little window here that says privileged mode true something to that effect so let's try it I'm going to put the screen right here, and I'm going to tap here 10 times. Here it goes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wait 7 seconds. That's 3. That's 4. That's 5. That's 6. That's 7. We'll say 8, and tap 10 times more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And watch down here. If I did it right, you should see something come up and say, and I didn't do it right. Huh. So let's try it again. Maybe it has to be done instead of here. It has to be done on this banner. So I'm going to try it down here on this, this part. Okay? Let's try it again. Let's keep this steady. Here it goes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wait 7 seconds. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's see if I did it right. Yep, and there it is. Setting privilege mode to true. What does that mean, setting, setting privilege mode to true? What that means is that if you swipe either down or up, up from the bottom or down from the top, you'll get extra features. Let me do this, ready? I'm gonna swipe up. And you'll see I've got a triangle, a circle, and a square. Try it again. A triangle, a circle, and a square. Also, if you swipe up, you also get something here. It looks like a, let's try that again. Looks like a desktop almost. You see how it says Bluetooth and then a clock, I guess your network connection and the time. All right? So now you know how to get into privileged mode. If you want to get out of privileged mode, you just repeat it again. So let's get out of, let's uh, see what happens when you're in privileged mode and then we'll close this video. You can hit the circle and the circle gets you to your desktop. As you can see on my desktop, I have certain apps loaded. And I also changed my background to a black hole. There's your iFit Cardio. And I'll, I'll show you some other videos. Actually, I have some other videos that are currently out there now. If you go to my channel, that show you how you can install Netflix and some of these other apps. All right. So let's go back to iFit Cardio. And if you want to take it out of privilege mode, because you'd rather not have that, you just do the same thing. We'll try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait seven, ten, seven to ten seconds. It's three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, and then ten. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And watch privilege mode to false. So now when you swipe up, see there's nothing. Nothing here. Okay? All right then. That's how you access privilege mode. That's how you're able to get to the Android desktop. I hope that was beneficial. In the past, I've, I've put some descriptions out, some instructions saying that you had to come up here and then you had to go to settings and then you had to go to maintenance. And then from here in the blank area here, that's where you do the, the tapping. You can do that as well because you actually have more of a tapping area. Like if I wanted to do it here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's much more space there, and as you can see, I'm back in true mode. All right, guys. Hope you uh, felt this was instructional. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to subscribe, I'll be putting out more content. You guys stay safe during all of this coronavirus stuff, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.